Hey guys, what's up? Sam here, back with another video. Now in my last video, I spoke about the Pixel 2 and more particularly the camera that was on the device and how disappointed I was with the camera on my device. Now a lot of you guys didn't agree with me at all based on the comment sections and the posts on Google+. Plus. Well, that's just my experience with the camera, all right? Now, I did the only thing that was right and I did go ahead and send it back to Google to get a replacement. Now, in that time, I was left with my Nexus 6P, which has been my main phone for about two years now. Now, having the Pixel 2, then going to not having the Pixel 2 was kind of sad for me because one of the main features that I absolutely loved about this phone was the portrait mode. It was absolutely stunning and what it could do with these photos, all right? Now, if you guys don't know, the portrait mode is a kind of mode where it kind of zooms in and focuses on the subject of the shot and kind of blurs out the background to kind of give it this nice portrait effect. Now it's really cool, you guys can go ahead and look at a couple of photos that I took from before. Now that feature was not available on my Nexus 6P, however, during the time I didn't have the Pixel 2, I did remember that I saw online that you could in fact get the portrait tool mode working on a Nexus 6P as well as other devices like the Nexus 5X, the original Pixel and Pixel XL, and even some non-Google devices. So I definitely went ahead, checked it out, installed it on my phone and tried it out. So here's how I'm gonna show you guys how to get a portrait mode working on your old phone like I did with my Nexus 6P. All right, let's get started guys. I went ahead and downloaded the file. I'm gonna put that in the description box down below. Also guys, shout out to the developer that made this awesome app. I'm just gonna go ahead and install the APK. It's in my download folder here. And it's the one that's called Camera NX version 7.3.1. All right, so go ahead and install that. All right, now once that's done, go ahead and open it up. Allow the permissions. All right. All right. So if you swipe over, you're gonna see that a portrait mode is enabled in this particular app. All right, it's really, really cool. I went ahead and checked it out from before, guys. Now, one thing to note that this does not, a portrait mode does not work on non-human subjects. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take a portrait of this right here. So I'm gonna to tap to focus and then take the picture. All right, now it does take a little while to process. As you can see here, it's processing because it is HDR plus, all right? Now, if you see this right here, it says burst one photos. Now, pretty much just like the Pixel 2, if it takes a portrait, it's gonna take pretty much two photos or take one photo and then it blurs out the background. So essentially you're left with two photos, one with everything in focus and then the next one with just the foreground in focus, all right? Now the portrait mode on this will work with the front facing camera along with the rear facing camera. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a couple samples that I did using the front and rear facing camera. Now another thing to note guys, you also get the face retouching with this. You're able to turn it on and off. It's a really cool and useful app. If you don't have a Pixel 2, but you really love the whole new portrait mode that is in a lot of devices nowadays, definitely go out and get this app. It's really cool. So yeah guys, that's it for me. That's my quick look at Camera NX and how to get the portrait mode working on your old Android device, all right? If you guys found this useful and liked it, definitely let me know by smashing that thumbs up button down below, all right? Also guys, I'll be doing another video coming up quite soon on how to get the AR stickers working on older Android devices, all right? So if you're pumped for that, guys, definitely go ahead, hit the notification bell to let you guys know when that video is uploaded, all right? As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Duck Coin, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Zine.